what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's been a couple of days a couple of weeks um because i have been going back and forth of how it was that i was going to record my videos because i really wanted to use my phone based on the quality of the camera and so and so on so forth but you know I had to decide on what it is that mattered. And what mattered was me delivering these messages and showing up how it is that I am uh, being shown and inspired to show up, you know? So we are going to get into a, a quick weekly reading. We'll be doing these every week. Um, I will have them out either Sunday or Mondays, okay? To just set us up with uh, some vibes see what's going on okay so this week astrologically we can um see well let's see what's going on with the moon first we are moving the sun is moving into libra so we are having the autumn equinox this, uh, this week along with the new moon on sunday Okay, the new Libra new moon. So um, we will be really, our focus will be a lot on diplomacy and balance and harmony and relationships and contracts and signing, and, um, whether that is entering uh, contracts, getting out of contracts, okay? Um, tomorrow on Tuesday, the moon goes into Leo and we'll be there until Thursday. So we'll be focusing a lot on our children, our self-expression, our creative expression. Um, our joy, our confidence, our sense of self, all right, um, our uh, commitments, our where our balance of giving and receiving is, and are our relationships being reciprocated, the love that is there, and what it is that may or may not be blocking us within that, you know, we're going to come into that trine with Jupiter over those days, so Things may be happening quickly and, and, and swiftly on a level of truth, of movement, okay, of, of clarity even, right, and seeing things for what it is that they really are, okay, so I'm not really, I'm not looking at a full astrological wheel at this time, but what we're going to do is go ahead and get started for this weekly energy, so if you guys are in need, interested of a personal reading, um, you need a tarot reading. We have some astrology readings available on the website as well. If you're needing that solar returns, natal charts, and lunar return charts, um, we also have a um, self help area where we have workbooks for connecting with your personal star energy through astrology. Um, and there's consultations available with that, along with. Um, womb womb work but on a mystic level you know to with tarot and um lunar return energies and connecting that with our menstrual cycles and really get into the feels of who we are where we are what's lying beneath the surface okay and if you are in need of some conjure work uh hit me up let's see some root work more specifically than anything because that is when it comes to um, the magic, my, I'm leaning more towards root work these days um, and connecting with some spell work when things are needing to be done quickly, okay? So you guys, let's go ahead and get into these messages. You may hear my son in the background, um, you know, because he be doing his thing. <laughs> but right now he's doing his own thing. But you know how children be when they hear mom doing something, they want to get in on it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this these weekly vibes the week of the 19th to the 25th spirit, ancestors of those who are watching me, spirit guides, angels that offer inside clarity guidance, understanding, forward movement, 
progress, peace, harmony, and balance. Okay, so. Those who walk with us, to support us in our authenticity and our truth. Our God is forward with our intuitions and our healing and the health that is of our world, that is of us. What messages do you have for us for the week of September 19th to September 25th? Okay, and at the bottom we have the hangman. So that's very interesting. Start to what's going on here. Sunday, so things are being are coming to full circle, like a manifestation of sorts. The manifestation, the door opens to that, and then we walk through the door, and we are coming into the space of um, a fullness of abundance in every area of our world. Okay, um, so this is of of emotions, of, of, of material, of relationships, okay, um, of mental states, of um, spirit, even. You know, we have, so the first part that we have coming out here for Monday is the Bishop C.H. Mason. Okay, so this is about, um, Bishop C.H. Mason is the Hierophant card. And so this is a lot about teachings and understandings and um, having a sense of stability, right, and tradition, right, recognizing where it is that tradition works for us and where it does not work for us, right, where we are too focused on appearances of things and are in a place of needing to um, find some balance within that, right? Find balance within what it is that we are trying to create, what it is that we really want, what we want that to look like, what we want that to feel like, right? And more so being focused on what it is that is of tradition of ours. What is our own personal law, okay? And how are we going to go about making that happen? What's going to manifest through this? And how do we go about doing this? Like what steps it is that we are needing to take? So if Monday which is today has been a day like it has been moving slowly methodically but it's full right so a lot of things being taken care of a lot of listening to the self and paying attention to the feelings not so much in our minds in our logical mind but recognizing what it is that we feel in what our body and really understanding and embracing that like when it's a no it's a strong no okay when it's a yes, it's a yes. It's like having all the senses in alignment so that we can make the right choices for us moving forward. That's going to bring a sense of longevity, long lasting. And on Tuesday, um, we come to this space of uh, having, I should say, on our mind what it is that we really want, how we want it, how we want it to feel more than anything this is about the emotional nature of things okay because there is not really it's not a lot of mental energy here right and with not a lot of mental energy here with these very strong earth placements that we have present this is telling us that our minds are in the right place like our minds are um are at its at our servitude like it's not ruling us it's not um it's no, it's not our master. <laughs> okay. And uh, what we desire is going to be the catalyst to what it is that uh, the next step that we're going to take, what we're going to do moving forward and how that's going to look. Okay. Because it's solely based off our intuition, our ideas, our dreams, what we, what we really want. 
okay this is about what it is that we can imagine into its existence it's less about fantasizing about a thing and utilizing the gift of imagination to make that happen and in that on Wednesday we have the free man so this is about recognizing how deep are you willing to go within oneself in order to make this thing happen to make these things go okay what are you going to do? What steps are you going to take? What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to? So Wednesday may be a time where you may just simply be cleaning house. Okay. You may be letting go of the clutter, of the confusion. Um, this can be a radical change in thought and perception, right? Because this is this is a energy of absolute, right? There is nothing that exists here. This is like a, the, going to the place where there is nothing. Okay, and allowing what um, is really reflecting within to be manifested. Okay, so what is really within and what does that look like? Like, are you aligned to what it is that you, what you want, what you need for real, right? Because it's not a basket. Um, not a basket is about wishes being fulfilled, but everything on this card really has to do with a need basis. Granted, there are wants here. There are there is um, excitement and um, decadence here, but there's also the needs being met within this and through this. We also have uh, the desires coinciding with this. Okay, and that is going to take us being true to ourselves of who it is that we really want, what our standards are, what we value, what we deem worthy, right? What truly feels good to us on a sensory level in all forms, in all, all senses. That is hearing, touching, seeing, uh, smelling, okay, tasting. Um, and, and what are you sensing in your body? What messages are you receiving through uh, what it, you're experiencing today and where is that leading? Where is that sending you to? And evidently it's putting you in the right direction of what it is that you actually want, okay? So that you can go out and take this step in a, a different way. Then it's like you're finding a different approach come Wednesday, right? So on Thursday, um, the big queen is here, right? So this is about celebration. This is... um about nurturing and nourishment okay this is about uh having a good time and feeling good within in oneself it's a lot of Taurus energy here so it's very strong in reference to our possessions right so what we have and and this can be on any level right so this can be our possessions of our mind uh the thoughts it is that we hold this can be um of the love it is that we have to give right abundance in our relationships abundance in our money abundance in um our just our getting up in the day and having a good routine kind of thing you know um abundance in our connection to source our connection to spirit all right, and in through this, right, because the emperor she is connected with the oneness, right? It's not, no, nobody has to, she doesn't have to be convinced to have faith. She doesn't have to be have, be convinced to, um, to know where hope seems lost, that that is not the truth, that is not the case. All right, she has the wisdom and the knowledge and knowing of, um, the planetary movements and aspects. And so we may be connecting with someone of this sort on this day that's, um, or someone who may already be present in our life is supporting us, helping us within this. This can be some mother figure, okay? This can be just a friend. It can be someone in our life who exemplifies this Empress energy. Granted, at the same time, this could simply be us. And on Friday, we have the father of coins okay so with the father of coins coming up um what i'm getting is that we are showing up differently right showing up in commitment showing up in manifesting right and what's coming through is the money what's coming through is the material aspects 
of life for us, all right? Because these this is about tangible things, about being grounded, being very sure, being very clear, um, and consistently doing the work in which it is that's needing to be done. So that what is trying to take place is taking place, right? So that forward movement can be had in a stable way. It's also we are, it feels like that we are, if there are any type of goals have that have been set, or if there has been, say it's not necessarily been a specific goal, but you have been wanting a sense of stability, right? A sense of uh, longevity of some sort in your life, right? Could be in relationships. It could be, um, you know, of a car, of a home, something with your children even, right? Something consistent that is taking place this week. It's manifesting, um, this is like big manifestation energy, but it's going to come to the point of being able to let go of what is no longer serving, like what it is that you are willing to accept, right? It's like a threshold has to be crossed over in order for um, what the, the stability, the traditions, the, the type of life it is that you want to live, like to manifest the values, to manifest the what is worth your time, your effort, your presence, um, it's going to take a different approach, right? Um, it's a fool's journey. And in trusting and moving forward in this, it's going to bring you the, the, the manifestation of the reality that you want, right? So on Saturday, we have the nine and six. So this is about boundaries here. Maybe... Um, this could be about secrets. Maybe some, maybe you're keeping a secret. Maybe someone is keeping a secret from you. Um, maybe you're holding your cards just close to your chest, right? This is also about protection. So whatever it is that you are, uh, if there is any type of celebrations taking place um, on Saturday, you may be feeling kind of guarded, right? But it's important that you trust, that you have faith. You know, that um, everything is safe. You are okay. It's important to know this. Uh, it's also uh, the last step. You're at the last step of the ending of this movement, right? So um, this may even, so, okay, let's say, for instance, this is just about work. Why are you going to work? Maybe you got a new job and it's Saturday. So you're taking a rest. You're taking a break. Um, you're getting your mind right. You are regenerating your thoughts, all right, your spirit even, um, so that you can go forward and do what it is that you're going to do, right? Do what it is that um, is going, that you're wanting to, uh, you know, what the next week is going to be bringing forward for you, okay? And because on Sunday we have the three of baskets. So there may be some get togethers this weekend. There may be some celebrations. All right. With women. Um, this may also be like just sitting around chit chatting, catching up, um, you know, just having a good time. This may be even some type of indulgence we're having here, but it's a very prosperous, like fun loving day, like a very beautiful day this Sunday that's coming up. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of bounty. It's a lot of abundance here, especially in regards and reference to love. You know, it is um, feeling worthy, feeling feeling valued. OK, um, this is there's maybe a return of relationships, even of feeling good uh, with other people. There may be some clarity coming forward for you, even like um Maybe something in regards to relationships that you did not see the 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 truth of once before that is coming to light for you. It's like the confusion is is coming out. Like things are becoming rounded. Um, like the your head is coming out of the clouds. Even uh, it's really interesting that this is the only fire element within all of this earth fire. It's, there's a lot of earth, fire, and air here, right? So, earth, fire, and air. Earth, fire, and water. Those are the predominant elements here. And so, what I want to say is that don't allow 
your fire to be put out in a sense, but at the same time, there may be uh, a moment where you need to take a break, where you need to take a rest, okay? Because there's something, there's something big, and I say that in quotation marks because, you know, sometimes we can watch readings and like, oh, you know, we're about to manifest this, this is about to come, yada, yada, yada. And it ended up being like just something very small, right? So, but it may be something small that catapults into a very big change internally or a very big change outside of us in a way that we did not necessarily expect to happen, right? So is this week, it's like kind of expect the unexpected. Um, it's like in the realm of, imp of um infinite possibilities okay and you know it's kind of like this this week we are seeing just how deep we really are right are you really are how deep are you willing to go okay how beneath the surface right are you allowing things to go when it comes to um what has been living within you, what has been living in your body. It's a big week on health as well. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself, that you're eating well, that, you know, you're getting some movement in, some exercise and things that's going to get you stable and grounded and um, uh, strengthening your body, okay? So let's see. What... Messages to the Marmary task for this week of September 19th to the 25th. What messages do you have for things? Okay, so we have the marmail here, and the marmail says, talk happiness, and happiness will gravitate to you, so this is a lot about, um, you know, keeping, being in that space of stillness, right, not letting our thoughts be carried away, uh, or getting carried out, tangent, on when it comes to our thoughts, like, it's a lot about being versatile and not really holding on to things. Um, this card speaks of frivolity and it says your wish will come true. The mermaid, a fish child often picked up to grant wishes, predicts it. Time and patience will turn a turbulent tide to your advantage. There is a link between what can be seen and what is beyond perception and yet to develop. Wait calmly until tranquil waters beckon you to swim. To plunge playfully into deep waters that you have little or no experience of will be dangerous. By knowing your duties and being able to perform them, your voyage through life will be plain sailing. Many treasures lie in store, some occult and mysterious, other tangible prizes of good luck. You have much fun to look forward to, so be happy now. So it is a week of a lot of celebration, but... Um, we also are learning something about ourselves and that kind of brings me back to that, um, you know, are you really that deep? Like how deep are you really? Have you really been going there with yourself? Who it is that you are, you know, um, what is there, you know? What is it that there is something, it's like you're finding something out about yourself that you are now in the space that you're feeling like you have the need to protect, okay? But your boundaries, you're putting up boundaries like healthy ones, ones that bring a lot of stability and security. Okay. I took back out these fairy cards. I have put them away for a while. And, um, but I have been doing this. I have been in a psychic development group and we had took a medicine journey, a shamanic journey to the upper world. Yeah. And it's been a lot of fairies trying to come through. So I have pulled this deck back out using this, seeing what messages it is that we have. So fairies, what messages do you have for the collective for this week of September 19th to the 25th? What would you like for us to know? Things like we're having, it's a lot of like 
good times, a good a week of good feelings, like all is good, all is well. <laughs> what is here? What's going on? Fairies, what messages do you have? Yeah. So, really, it's all about you, it's all about us. We have attitude, and this is the number one, right? So, this is speaking about our personal attitude, recognizing the attitude it is that we have um, in reference to pretty much anything. I'm going to read this. Uh, to you guys and what it says here. So the attitude fairy says, if you have drawn the attitude card, you can be sure there's a message here for you. Take a close look at the way you interact with others. Stand up for your rights and your ideals, but also uh, honor other people's positions. What appears obvious to you may not be so obvious to another person. Go deep within yourself and ask, what is it that I need to observe within myself? We can choose to act or react to any situation. Do you fly off the handle when, you confront, when you're confronted with a difficult lesson? Or do you take a deep breath, center yourself, and consider what would be the best course of action? It is important to listen to the inner voice that knows that spirit wants the best for you. Just ask for help and remember that every problem comes with its own solution. Your own inner self will be glad to whisper the solution to you. Sometimes it comes in words or thoughts of insight. Other times it comes as messages that urges you to have faith that the universe is moving energy around in order to manifest the perfect outcome. There is an exercise in trust and faith. Listen to all that you say and think all day long. Whether a negative or judgmental thought comes in, immediately replace it with a positive thought. Mm, I would say let the thought be there, aware, be aware that the thought is there because it's in the awareness that lets it pass, right? We don't, it's the difference between um, trying to control the thoughts and just letting the thoughts be there so that they can go and you can then implement what it is that's needed. So I guess it's the same thing, but there is something within that there, in the midst of that, that has to happen. Right, because if we cut off our negative thoughts, we then in turn suppress them. So instead, we are needing to let them arise, be aware of them, see them, and be like, okay, this is there. But instead, this is what this is kind of thing. Okay, so remember what you focus on is what you attract in your life. So carefully choose what kind of life you want. The simple act of placing a smile on your face generates a chemical change within your body that brings about happier feelings. Others will also react to you in a way that reflects how you present yourself to them. Remember to avoid judgments of yourself, others, or situations. Gather the facts, ask for divine help, and listen to them for the next course of action. The chant says, Mother, Father, God, help me to see what I need to see and to release what I need to release. Help me to see within the mirror clearly and within, with insight into my inner being. Assist me in being forgiving of myself and others so that I may live the happy, the happiest and most successful life possible. So be it. And it says to make faces at yourself in the mirror. Okay, so yeah, okay. Again, so connecting with people, all right. Um, putting your boundaries up where you need to, right? But not being so guarded to the what to the fact that um, you are missing out on the connection that is there, you know. Um, and really embracing um, where the truth in that connection lies right and what that is and even recognizing where it is that we have uh stifled ourselves put ourselves in this cage or in this place of um still holding on to feelings that whether that is in reference to ourselves or to other people that we need to break our break out of like where does this come from why is this here like what is it that you're really feeling all right, you say that that's what you're feeling, but perhaps that's just the surface. Okay, what's, what's really going on here? What's really here? How are you going to choose to connect with others? Um, and how are you connecting with yourself? Like, what is going on? What is going on? Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
attitude is everything when it comes to, and it's not just the attitude outside. And it's easy to put a smile on our face. And yes, that will shift how it is that we're feeling on a surface level. But what's really going on here? What's really needing to be acknowledged? Like there may be some new way um, that we are needing to go about uh, interacting, connecting, um, showing up even, right, within ourselves, okay, in, in our commitments, in um, this has this week has a lot to do with relationships, this thing. but it also has a lot to do with the relationship it is that we have with ourselves because that is the first and the foremost, that is the beginning of it all, right? Because when we feeling good, when you really feel good about yourself, you feeling good to make someone everybody else. There is no other thought that's going on um, in your mind that can prosper. It's like no negative thought against me shall prosper of my own. <laughs> okay. Um, not just it, when you feeling really good about yourself, when you feeling really happy with yourself, with your life, anything anybody has to say about you, anything anybody has to do um when it comes to who you are, what you have going on, it you know, it's only when we are really right and stable and grounded, right? All of these energies, feeling very worthy, feeling very capable, feeling open and receptive and magnetic, right? That and and that requires us to be able to see ourselves, to see our ourselves in our shadows, to see ourselves of uh, where it is that we are, may be putting on a false persona, a false light, acting like something is something that is really not, right? And these things really come out that within the connection and the relationships it is that we have, because when we are experiencing something, when we got something going on within and we connect with somebody else, most of the time we're trying to hide that or act like that shit don't exist, okay? It will be triggered. <laughs> it will be triggered to be revealed so that we can face it, all right? So what is it that we're needing to see about ourselves, right? What is it? Um, where is our power? Where are we? Y'all, something got to be flushed. Something needs to be released, Bashar feels like he needs to use the restroom <laughs> while we recording, but it's all good. Okay. So um there's definitely something amiss in a sense when it comes to our own personal power and what it is that we want for our life in the way in which it is that we want it and recognizing what the space it is that we hold ourselves in when it comes to what it is that we have to do, what it is that we want to do. Do you really enjoy what it is that you're doing? Do you really enjoy the life it is that you're living? Okay? Because it's like the illusions are coming, the 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 veil is being lifted. There is clarity being being seen here. All right, because this free man, it comes in and it shakes everything up. Okay, so that this ability can come in. It's like, oh, you want this? Okay, well, this needs to happen. You need to let go of this. You need to let go of this. You have to do this differently like this. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have here? Hold your vision. So you know what you want. You know, it's already understood and it doesn't have to be explained. Okay, so perhaps these... um what you were seeking, where you were headed, what is manifesting, right? Because this may just be the beginning of something. Um, it may be coming to fruition come the first quarter moon. So the first quarter moon for us will be, let me see. The first quarter moon is in October. Okay, so this is the. It's about like the first second of October. So things will the that full fruition, right? The full vision will be coming through and manifesting, um, forward for us very soon. 
in a lot of week or two. So this says meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Okay. So it's like pay attention to where you're trying to escape from something. It's the near read is at the bottom. So these mermaid cards, and that's about fairness. Yeah. So um there is something that needs to come into balance. That may be off kilter. You may be overdoing it in some area. Maybe you drink a lot, all right? <laughs> because it's a lot of like alcohol, liquor vibes here. Okay. Um, maybe you do a lot of taking a lot of time relaxing. Maybe you sleep a lot and um it's nothing wrong with taking a lot of naps or getting arrested if you need. But if you're doing that versus um uh, taking care of everything else that need, that's needing to be taken care of. Perhaps you need to switch that with some meditation and contemplation so that uh, balance can be attained for you, right? Because um, there is something that is definitely being seen differently. We have radical rebirth here, all right? And this is the ancestors supporting us in this. This is Mbuya Nahanda. Let's see what she talking about. It's a lot of Taurus energy here. A lot. A lot of Taurus energy. A lot of, a lot of Libra energy, Gemini as well. Well, Mars is in Gemini right now, so this is, you know, initiating new things um, and things coming to an end. So here, she's in the temple of the ancestors and her element is air. All right. So she was born around 1840. Um, Charwi Naya Kasikana channeled a Hondoro, an ancient royal lion spirit named Nahanda, who has been incarnated by revolutionary revolutionary Shauna women for at least 500 years. Harold as Mbaya Nahanda, grandmother Nahanda, grandmother Nahanda is who she's called. This great ancestress was a healer who declared war against colonial occupation. Yes, you can. It's her guidance. Stop the struggle. You can choose at any moment to start over and be reborn. Like the sun, you rise again and again. Dust yourself off, move forward, and go forward again. Life is about transition and change. You will fall on your face, change your mind, and need to make a comeback again and again. Release the idea that you messed up if things aren't perfect. Stop waiting to be ready. Make new choices and decisions. Her declaration says, still I rise. Okay. So, she's giving a uh, strong... Uh, What's her name? <laughs> oh, give me her name. It's on the tip of my tongue. Maya Angelo vibes. All right. Temple of the ancestors of the mind. So there is a great change in perspective happening here. And this is coming through. This may be a family thing that's happening. And when it comes to the change of of that like also of your stability your home life as well um but this can easily just be this can be a how you see yourself when it comes to like your beauty even internally and externally you see your gifts seeing your gifts all right and utilizing these to help support you towards the vision it is that you're holding. Because what you are wanting is manifesting. Just hold the right attitude and maybe we will find reasons to have the right attitude, right? Things working in our favor. It's like, oh, I didn't have to worry about that in the first place. All is well. All right. I am wild and free. This is our personal, this is our power card for the week of September 19th to the 25th. All right. So this is, you know, being who you are. I deserve respect. So that what you want, 
of that who you are. It deserves to be acknowledged. It deserves to be recognized. Okay, and um, and respected, right? At the bottom here, the goddess cards, we have the wounded healer. Okay, so the the healing that has been taking place surrounding our identity, or right, who it is that we have been seeing ourselves as up until this point is radically changing. Okay, and this may be coming from you finding balance within the escapism, within the indulgences. Okay, yeah, they're a whole while. Yeah, okay. It's some rebirthing taking place here. Um, and some reconnections, right? Somebody may be reaching out to you. Yeah. Yeah, somebody may be reaching out to you. You may be reaching out to somebody, connecting with them. This week as well, there may be some reconciliation within relationships that have been like dead in a sense and they're being revived. Yeah. Because the self-care card we have is connect. So we're definitely connecting. This can be just us connecting with um, our family, our loved ones, whatever type of celebration it is that we're having going on. And it's at the bottom we have dare. So what you what you saying you want to do, you're going to do that. All right. If you are choosing not to do that, it's time. I hope this is a sign for you that it's time. So let's roll these guys to give a closing message for this week of the month for so this one. We got this new moon coming up. All right. So we have Mercury in Virgo in the fifth house. Well, this is confidently expressing uh our needs, right? Who we are, feeling very confident in that and being consistent with that, like being consistent with our children. Um, we may be learning something new, something that is bringing a lot of excitement for us. Uh, we may be communicating with those who like really resonate with us on a, a level that is in alignment with who it is that we are right now. Right. This is not about conversations or um, like there is no form of escapism in this energy here. Right. Very grounded communication, very, uh, very detailed, very um, stable, very committed, very connected as well. Very pure energy here happening is something there may be some cleansing taking place. There may be some healing taking place as well when it comes to your confidence to how you express yourself, to how it is that you see yourself, okay? There may be some healing coming forth in reference to your children, all right? So even your romantic relationships, um, the, the Venus is going to be moving into Libra very soon, so it's going to be making a connection with Mercury, although Mercury is in retrograde, um, Things still happen during retrogrades, y'all. Okay. So this is consistently consistency within that. We may um be making a decision about relationships, right? This may be long-standing relationships, or this can be new relationships that we're making a decision about. Okay, and moving forward with that, like um choosing to be committed to these things, choosing to com be committed to what it is that we're creating, um, to our creativity, right, to our art, what it is that um, we build for real, okay, and sharing that. Also, a, a commitment, we may be sharing a lot in reference to um, to routines and rituals, okay? It's a good week to, if you're into the magic root or conjure thing, um, it's a good week for that. That brings a lot of prosperity. If you have been doing that, that is meant, this is going to be manifesting for you. It's supporting you and whatever it is that you got going on right now. All right. Um, and it's going to be exactly what it is that you want. It's going to be a pure reflection of you, of who you are. And it's going to come in and it's going to be long lasting okay it's going to be committal it's going to be methodical it's going to be practical and balanced okay things 
are going to go from, it seems, it's going to go from, it seems like it's taking its time to quickly to a steady pace, a flow, right? And like, okay, I got to protect this. You may be coming into something that you don't want to share with anybody, okay? You may not be wanting to share any of this with anyone, but then you may be connecting with somebody this weekend that you want to share all of this with. And this is people that you can trust, right? People that have your best interests at heart because it's not a lot of, it's no, I'm not getting no, uh, granted it could be some hidden enemies, but they ain't here. They at a distance. They probably peaking, but they not connecting with you, okay? Um, and, you know, it's your openness and your freeness, your sovereignty and, and this, this, this. It's a lot of radical energy taking place in this. Um, it's good. This just feels really good, y'all. All right. I hope y'all have a beautiful week. All right. I'm closing this out. I will talk to y'all very soon. We're about to come up on this equinox and we have some spring equinox readings coming up. So, um, yes, uh, hit me up for whatever it is you need. I am here. All right. The link is down below in the description box. If you have any questions, my email is below as well. Please inquire. And yes, I will talk to you very soon. Bye for now.